Welcome back everyone. Let's see what we're gonna get up to today. Okay, so the first job's gonna to be to clean up this front bulkhead, which is surface, started with a bit of surface rust. Um, so I'm gonna get that all cleaned up and get it all primed. Still work from happening again. Okay, so I've got it all primed up now, so that'll get it all protected. Um, so that's that done. Obviously, you can see inside there, I need to just do the top of the exhaust tunnel as well. Just want to get that um, cleaned up and primed. Um, and also, this cross member here, get that cleaned up because. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, got a bit of moisture on it at some point, so I want to make sure it's all protected up now. So, going back, doing all these odd jobs, which is always important to do. And then we can crack on with the. Uh, the engine bay. So it's all cleaned up um, and all back in primer so much happier now I've got this all cleaned up and as you can see the um, weather gear there we go that's all cleaned up really nicely all primed up same with this um, bit here obviously I just need to do the other side now uh, I'll do that for another day though because I think I've upset the neighbours enough last night so just got that one Back here to there, the front one's all done because I replaced all that, so that's all good. So now, next job really for today's going to be to crack on try and make up some of these brackets, or at least try and um, cut them out into cardboard. Uh, I've got a few already done for certain parts, um, so that's going to be my job now for these oil rads and other things, also for where the charge cooler goes. Um, once that's all done, I've just downloaded a bit of CAD software, hopefully I can print it all off. Um, on that and then send it off to my guys down at Western Waterjet to cut out on some sheet steel for bending and putting it all in place so that's going to be the job now. Okay so I'm just mocking up the brackets now for mounting this oil cooler. Uh, main thing is I want to make sure is that it's level then I'm going to mark on the um, frame rails where the locating sort of parts are on there um, so I can start to make up the brackets for that so that's going to be my first job. Okay so I've marked up there you can just see a couple of black lines on that frame rail where the sort of brackets are going to be. Um, I'm going to use this sort of joint here, um, which is actually just where it levels off to on that side. The actual oil cooler sits about 30 more higher than this bit of box sectioning here. So what I'm going to do is just have a face on here coming up and 30 more higher so as it comes in line and out with a sort of a little fillet, 45 degree, um, 90 degree angle fillet in there, just for a bit of bracing support. Um, I've measured the, um, outside diameter of both pipes so as I've this bit of tubing rather here um, so as I can actually get the bracket to go around um, that gives it a longer weld line and a bit of extra strength shouldn't need to put any fillets underneath that to support it, it should be plenty strong enough uh, with three or four mil steel that I'll be using um, what I've also done is um, however though on this side is just measure this angle here which is 130 degrees um, so when I come off of here flat I've also got to have a fillet which runs up along the side here where I'm going to bend it so it's going to be flat and then bend down here 130 degree angle there so in crude drawings this is what it looks like so we've got the on the main frame row we've got these two brackets here obviously this top one can only come out 20 mil um, because it actually has to fit underneath the oil cooler itself um, the top bracket because it's going to fit inside um, put that down a second. It's got to fit inside here, so it can only be 35 wide, um, but it can only go in 20 mil because obviously that's when it hits the body of the actual cooler itself. The bottom bracket doesn't matter so much because obviously on the bottom it's completely flat. So I'm going to make it slightly longer, just as it takes a bit more of the weight um, on that. And again, it can be the full width of this because it hasn't got to fit within the inside diameter of that. So hence, while these two are slightly different, um, obviously the Outside diameter is 46 mil on the tubing, which is the curve on both of them. Top one's 20 mil to fit inside the top housing. Bottom one going 25 mil, just giving a bit more extra meat for it to sit on. Um, then, like I said, this is um, the one with 130 degree angle um, coming down. Again, got to come out 25 mil because um, it's a bottom bracket, um, and the width again is 35 mil. I'm not actually written that on there. Put right there, 35. Um, oh no, 45 actually on the bottom ones. 45 um, and then the top bracket again as I said it's going to come sorry 
it's going to come up the face of that boxing and come out and i'm going to put a fillet in there just to give it a bit of extra support and strength there so that's crew drawings for that also i've got this new cad software which i'll show you in a minute um in the video hopefully these brackets all made up in flat sheet steel um last night you may have seen on my instagram and um, facebook page that i did the top engine mount for here um made that last night on this new software which seems to work really well actually to be fair it's taking a bit of getting my head around because i've never been shown or um trained on it so it's all learning as i go but um yeah getting there so next thing is to do the oil cooler for the other side okay so the same thing's gonna apply for this side here um i think this is where i'm gonna mount the main car oil radiator here um it's 25 row i've got some vents here so they get really good cooling and also it's got the fans on well away from everything else um so fingers crossed that this is gonna be the best place i did sort of think about mounting it up on top of the rail here um, but my only worry about that is a it's a bit higher um, for obviously pumping oil up so a bit more strain on the pump um, but also it's nearer the exhaust which obviously isn't a good idea um, I also thought I'm mounting it flat on the frame rail like this but I just don't think aesthetically it looks as nice with the other one being square um, also I worry about getting the fittings off here having fouling issues and obviously if I start bringing it up here then I start getting a problem with it being higher also I worry about it being here that it drain out to the lower point um, and possibly drain back down into the engine you get a bit of cavitation so I don't want that so again if I mount it flat hopefully it will stay full I'm not gonna get any cavitating um, in the actual oil sort of run itself so again same as last time that's where it sort of sits here will be obviously the lowest point it can go so I'll make sure it's level which is really hard for me you've got like not enough hands to do it so so just in case anyone's worrying yeah on that box section you can see the car is level going by box section anyway as level as a mini can be yeah so again on here got my digital yeah and then it's probably a very clever way of doing this, but I'm using my layman terms of how to do it. I'm getting that says so that's sits level. So we've got 40 degrees. So 40 degrees from there. So hopefully, yeah, lovely. Does it actually work? So 40 degrees across does line up with my line's right if I bring that around here. Hopefully you'll stay in focus. So yeah, that's reassuring that obviously that level point there does actually marry up with the 40 degrees angle across there as well. I've um, got the whole day pretty much to work on the car rather than working on the computer, which I can just do in the weeknights and the evenings when you just don't feel like coming out here. I might sort of come mocking up some more bits and just try and get as much sort of drawn up as I can do. Give me a bit of homework for the evenings. So um. So the next thing I'm going to try and do is sort out this bulkhead of boxing this in. Um, obviously, standard sort of mini has sort of got the side supports here. Um, the boxing obviously tapers in, which I had to make this capping bit up um, because the actual um, tube itself doesn't actually fit, as you might have seen in some earlier videos. Um, what I'm going to try and do is capping off to this end boxing, um, end opening here, bring it up to here. Now this here, at this point, goes upright um, to allow me to have hopefully make that easier for joining in. I basically want to box this whole, all in completely flat across the top here and flat down the front here. I did bring that the reservoirs for the um, brakes, um, washer fluid bottle will all be mounted internally sort of in here um, just to make it nice and clean. The reservoir, the filler caps will be sort of through the top surface so all you'll see is the caps along the top there. So I'm just going to measure this all up now and then I can hopefully get that all um, water jetted out on a single sheet that I can just get it bent and it should all fit perfectly rather than me having to try and cut it all out with an angle grinder and stuff and you never get a decent straight cut um, and you can't always guillotine it out if you've got internal um, sort of shapes and things there so I'm going to do that now and um, that's another job to do then all sorted out
Okay, so I've just sort of done up my centre console um, plan. So I've got all those sort of dimensions all noted down. Um, again, thanks to T7 Design down here in Devon for sorting me out um, this electric heater. Um, they've also sorted me out the Davies Craig water pump and things. They've been absolutely brilliant with all the heating and cooling stuff. So just want to sort of shout out to them really. They've been absolutely ideal to be so local to pop into and pasta and give, give me some advice and things. Um, so yeah, so drawing this out, basically it's going to be running along where the gear shift lever is currently along our normal sort of gear lever on a mini is on this sort of base here coming up the sort of foot plate where the pedals would normally be up the back to where the cross beams are going across here um there's a shelf in there where the heater's going to mount and i'm going to have a removable side plate here to access all the wiring there and then there's going to be a front plate going on here um which is going to have all sort of you know engine start fans etc and um, we'll all be going on on this bit here which i'll probably do in a carbon sheet or something on there and then just um, bolt it down the side here with some nice sort of beauty washers or something. I said side access panel, which will be just bolted on with flanges all the way around there. That way that whole side can be removable on the passenger side. So I've got best access without pedals and um, steering column and things in my way. Because um, what I'm planning to do is have all my electrics within this. Um, so again, there's going to be a few little vents at the back for the heater to obviously draw the air in through the back. That should all be sort of self-contained within this section here. Then I've got all the space in here where I can just put my relays, wiring, etc. All nice and hidden away to keep it as clean and tidy as I can within the car. So I've got plenty of drawings to be getting on with. Um, I might be a bit of an expert at this CAD stuff by the time this finishes, but once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, and hopefully in the next video, I'll get back to you with a few of the drawings that I've done. Um, and obviously just see, see how they all look and Really, just wait till this pandemic's over that we're all going for at the moment. I hope you're all staying safe and staying at home and doing as you're told. Um, the sooner we all do that, the better sooner we can all go back to normality. And places will open up again, such as um, the water jet place that I need to make these parts. So yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Just search, um, search K20 Charge Mini. And um, leave a comment if you feel like it. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye.